Excel is great, but if you need an easy to use, free alternative to Microsoft's own spreadsheet tool, it's impossible to beat Google Sheets. Whether you're working in the web client or on a phone or tablet, Sheets is a great replacement for anyone who doesn't want to pay a subscription price just for the occasional spreadsheet document. Renaming columns in both the web client and on the smartphone app is actually surprisingly easy, but only if you know exactly where to look within the settings menu. We'll cover both in this guide, and to do so, we'll need to start by explaining exactly what freezing means. Typically, if you're creating a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, you're trying to sort and organize data in a specific way. Labeling your columns can help you keep track of each data point, but if you attempt to sort alphabetically or numerically within these columns, you'll end up with your column labels getting sorted in with your data. That's where freezing comes in. Freezing allows you to separate a row of column headers so that sorting your data no longer takes the named entry in each of those columns into effect. Sheets hides the option to freeze within a couple of menu options, so if you've never even heard of freezing before, you shouldn't be too surprised. Let's quickly cover how to do this in the web client before moving to the app, since knowing how freezing works on desktop can really help you on mobile. Click on the view menu within Sheets then select freeze from the top of the list. Regardless of what row you currently have selected, the freeze option in sheets works down from the top, so mouse over freeze to view your options. You can freeze the first or first two rows here by selecting either of these options, or you can freeze all the way to your actual selected row by clicking the third. The same goes for freezing columns from the left moving towards the right, which will allow you to rename your rows. With that out of the way, let's move on to mobile. There's no view menu when working on a phone or tablet, so instead, you'll need to rely on some basic app interfaces instead. The method for freezing and unfreezing differs a bit on iOS and Android, so let's start with the former first. On iOS, you have to be very specific in where you tap. To freeze a row of column labels, tap on the gray box to the left of the selected row, then tap on the arrow to the right of the pop-up menu and select Freeze Row. If you accidentally tap on a cell instead of the gray box, you won't see this option, so make sure to tap the correct area on the screen. Thankfully, it's a bit simpler on Android. Just tap and hold on a row or column, then tap the triple dotted menu icon that appears on screen and select Freeze from the list of options. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Sheets and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.